So what you're looking at here is the world's largest circular combined wave and current basin. The uh, only other one in the world is in Japan and it's about half the size. Around a third of the funding for this project in Edinburgh used to come from the EU's Horizon Scheme. After a two-year gap, news the UK is now rejoining it has created waves of relief. How are you feeling today? I couldn't be more delighted. It's absolutely fantastic that we're back in the uh, Horizon Europe programme. It's brought a lot of different European companies and research organisations to here to test in this world-class facility. And it's also enabled us to push forward technology and to collaborate with other people that run large facilities a bit like this uh, across Europe. We should have been part of Horizon after Brexit, but trade rise meant the UK was frozen out. About uh, 20, 20 centimetres. 20 centimetres. Now, yeah. after months of talks, the Prime Minister says he's struck the right deal for returning. I listened to the science and research community here. They said that association to Horizon was a priority. That's what I've delivered. And we've delivered a specific deal for the UK that works in the best interest of our researchers and scientists, but also in the best interest of British taxpayers. So is there now going to be more cooperation between the UK and EU on other areas? When it comes to the research world, collaboration is really important. The best research is often done cross borders, but it's not just about with EU countries. It's actually much more global than that. Scientists and institutions based in the UK can apply for money from the Horizon Fund from today. There's hope this will revive a sector that's faced so much uncertainty. From January, Britain will contribute around £2.2 billion a year to participate in Horizon and also the Copernicus space programme. For some, though, this has all come too late. I think there's a sense that we've lost two years, that this should have happened two years ago, and that's a big loss. Um, and obviously, as we look at the details, there are some gaps there. Your atom, for example, is not uh, included, so we need to look at that. But, you know, there's more than uh, just Horizon to get the right uh, progress that we need in our economy. This is Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie is one of the most advanced robots available and was developed together with NASA. In a university which hopes one day to help send robots to Mars, rejoining Horizon has left everyone feeling absolutely over the moon. We're delighted at this decision. But is restoring some of what they already had before Brexit really worth the celebration? Collaborations have suffered. So we have seen a drop off in uh, the number of European collaborations because of the lack of eligibility for certain bits of this EU funding. But I am absolutely confident, along with other research intensive universities, we are on a campaign now to absolutely get back to, to business as it was before 2020. Across the UK, some academics and researchers who've lost out on funding over the last few years have already taken their expertise elsewhere. But in the science community today, a sense of a positive move forward as they look to the future.